All right. Well, we got another uh, donor piece. I'd like to thank uh, Tyrone, my buddy Tyrone, uh, for getting this piece here. Went and picked this up out at uh, his mom's place in Leander. So this thing's pretty, pretty cool. I think it's going to work out great as a little ice chest to just cruise on. I mean, this thing's got all sorts of bells and whistles on it. Neat little headlight down here too. Like dang. It's a nice little uh nice little scoot. Yeah, this one'll probably be pretty easy to chop up and make into what we want to make it. Got a cool speedway sticker on there. Yeah, should be a should be a fun little project. Should be fun. All right, <clears throat> came out pretty good. We're gonna have a lot of space in this thing. It's a. Uh, I mean, let's we got that. I mean, we're gonna be able to go all the way up to this wall here. I mean, we'll be able to go all the way to here. It's a pretty good size ice chest. Let's cut this down, re-stabilize it, re make new welds. But yeah, that's gonna work out well. The rest of us just gonna be just wiring. Get these 12 volts out, and we'll just put the. Uh, We'll just go with a lithium ion system like what we have in here. Just do something like that. Have to look at the wiring though to see what the, the lights and all that split off to 12 volts. So we'll trace it out and see what it looks like. All right, it was actually <clears throat> pretty simple for wiring. So, you know, this was for each battery, one, two, so they just came in, went into this circuit breaker here, just one leg, and then that's how it tied into a, into a series circuit to make 24 volts. So we just tapped in right here where it sends the whole 24 volts. We got a 29 volt lithium ion battery there. And uh, yeah, it actually works really good. It uh, turns on, the light seems to be at least that one works. Get the, the hazards work. Oh, yeah, there we go. Something like here. And even more than that, I place a great deal of confidence in this baby's judgment. Let's see. These bad boys don't want to work. Right here. So, we're gonna put an ice chest on there, but we gotta make it fit. So we wanna cut this pole. All this is gonna have to come out of the way. So, I don't mind the welds and how crappy they are, but we'll weld the, the frame here. Since it was designed to be able to come apart, we're just gonna go ahead and weld it together. So we got that all welded in there. So then we can cut this off here. And we get this ice chest fit. So we'll get that started.
All right, so we went ahead and cut all that away. And cut away some of the plastic too, so the ice chest can sit flush. But uh, yeah, comes out pretty good. It gives it plenty of room. And here she is. I'll make some more uh, support brackets down here in the bottom. I think we'll run something you know, to, just to hold it in right there. But give it a little ride. It's pretty fun. It's a cool little uh, perfect, sweet, easy setup. I mean, this just took me maybe a couple hours. I mean, just maybe a another hour or two of welding a frame and then boom it'll be ready to go and you just pop the ice chest in and out and you're off and riding but yeah super cool super fun i like this one this one was a good one so i'm gonna do some drive-bys and wrap this one up support and stuff like that in it but uh, honestly I just I think it's perfect the way it is this way we can you can change any ice chest any ice chest that'll fit there and honestly when it's full of ice and, and drinks and you're sitting on it it ain't gonna go anywhere it sits right in that kind of cradles it perfect there and I then cut these out here just to help it it a little bit better and that's it I mean nothing to it but uh, yeah that's it well thanks for watching uh, hit that subscribe button I want to uh, see if we can get more people to follow and, and uh, show more projects and and then make more connections but uh, hit that subscribe button thanks for watching <laughs>